Hi, I'm Tian, aka Earth to Tian. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a lot of Sea of Thieves and a variety of indie games and horror games. Hello, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. All right, go ahead and tell me your username if you're an affiliate or partner on Twitch, how long you've been streaming, and also your average viewers and current followers. I am Earth to Tian on Twitch. I'm an affiliate streamer. I've been streaming for a little over two years now. I average about eight to 10 CCV for the past 30, uh, 30 days, and I currently have 661 followers. Nice. So awesome. So let's talk about analytics for a second. Do you analyze your data and what do you do with that information? So Twitch gives us streamers a lot of data, mm -hmm. like a lot of data to use. And it's kind of up to how we interpret it, right? Um, so I play a lot of different indie games. Uh, sometimes they're hits, sometimes they're misses. And the, the data itself, the analytics itself gives me an idea of what kind of content my users tend to gravitate towards and what they what's way too obscure for them. So that's kind of how I've been using the Twitch data as of late, just to kind of see what, what kind of games are more interesting and what's maybe too weird. So how do you engage your audience, whether that's on streams or in social media? Uh, so I view social media, Discord, um, as an extension of the stream itself. So every part of it is go directly back to the stream. And um, one way to keep my viewers engaged is to kind of contribute to some of the things that I create. Uh, for example, I have a channel point redemption that that they inspired um, that takes a Polaroid picture of a stream and yeah. it posts to Discord so Aww. they can see stuff like that. What works for your go live notifications and what doesn't? I try not to flood my social media with go live posts, and I know a lot of people use it. Um, I feel like it dilutes the social, your social media a little bit, because if every post is a go live post and nothing else, I mean, what's the point of following you at that point? Like, if just that's all you know. Mm -hmm. So I try to save it for like very important streams, like either it's a sponsored stream or a charity stream, to kind of give a bigger impact for those kinds of events. What tags work best for you and your channel? So I use the Twitch tags as kind of identity tags. Mm -hmm. um, so I identify myself as Asian American, most uh, and more specifically Vietnamese. Um, so those two tags have been working really well for me. Um, we're in a day and age now where audiences are very selective with the type of content they want to watch. Um, for me anyways, I think it's really neat to be able to find someone who looks like me, who are, is interested in the same thing. So the fact that they can kind of search those specific tags and find those kinds of streamers mm -hmm. uh, really helps out. Um, I also noticed like with those within those specific tags themselves, there are certain trends of what kind of games you'll see those like within those tags. But so kind of helps me stand out a little bit to kind of play something a little different that doesn't fit that mold. And someone will kind of scroll through and be like, wait, this person isn't playing Valorant. This person isn't playing League of Legends. They're playing something completely different. Mm -hmm. than say every other Vietnamese streamer like what is going on here what's he doing here kind mm -hmm. of kind of deal so it's a little way to stand out as well as kind of show your identity so talking about standing out uh, how do you do that other than tags and kind of be different than the rest so I gain a lot of inspiration from everywhere so I'm an engineer I like to tinker with things um, once I got affiliate the thing that I wanted to play around with the most was channel points. Mm -hmm. uh, and I want to make really cool interactions with channel points. That is the best way, I think, to interact. Why Twitch stands out, like to interact with streamers, is through their channel point system. Uh, there's a lot of cool programs like StreamerBot, Mix It Up, that utilizes channel points to kind of mess around with your OBS to make things appear on screen and so forth. So that's how I've been doing to kind of stand, stand out a little bit. So me being painful to myself, decided to make a scare alert system mm -hmm. where if my heart rate hits a certain point, it will trigger a bunch of different scare alerts scaring me. And mm -hmm. that makes me, my audience, my viewers love that. So the next question is, how do you introduce yourself to other content creators? So I'm a bit of a professional lurker. Mm. Uh, I love watching. I love watching other people's streams. I love vibing in other people's streams and just kind of not even talk about myself being a streamer. So that's one of the, that's one of my goal. Like that's one of my number one rules is just never talk about myself streaming ever when I'm in other people's streams. Um, 
I want I like hanging out in the, the chats. I like, you know, interacting with people, getting to know people and so forth. I don't like, you know, when you're doing business meetings or you're doing like social functions or a party, you're just kind of introducing yourself to each other. Just no, no pressure of like, is are they, are they not a streamer? Mm -hmm. And then if I so happen to be, you know, if I vibe with that particular content creator, if I vibe with that streamer, if I happen to be streaming at the same time as them or finishing up as they're starting, kind of send them a raid and kind of like saying, hey, I've been hanging out with you. I really like your vibe. I trust my community with yours. And that's kind of how it starts. The conversation kind of starts and that's kind of how the networking kind of starts. So my last question is think back to when you started streaming to where you are right now. Was there any kind of one thing that changed it all for you? But uh, once I noticed like my numbers start growing from like zero to one to four to five to, and, and so forth. Uh, I started paying a lot more attention to kind of the technology side of streaming in general. So number one thing I always focus on is audio. Make sure my audio works at all time because you can't communicate with anyone if your mic goes out, right? Mm -hmm. Camera can go down, mm -hmm. you know, everything on screen can go down, but as long as you can talk to your chat, that's important to me. Mm -hmm. And then understanding I start understanding how OBS works, I understand how, you know, alerts work, bots work. Just that's where I, I started paying more attention to things that I would have then never paid attention to when I first started streaming. So that's kind of how things changed for me when I started noticing numbers go up. So I started paying attention more to the production value of things and make things make it more attractive for people to, you know, come by and actually stay and stick around and and so forth. Yeah. Well, that was my last question. Do you have any final thoughts? Or are you feeling pretty good? I don't feel pretty good. Um, I do. I do enjoy the tech side of streaming a lot. So I, I uh, nerd out with it a lot. Um, and, you know, if people like that, feel free to stop on by and we can talk tech. We can talk nerdy together. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you. Thank <laughs> you so much for doing this. I really appreciate you. No, I appreciate you, too. This, yeah. is, this was fun. Good. Okay, we're going to say goodbye to YouTube and then I'll talk to you right afterwards, okay? All right. All right. Bye, YouTube.